Welcome to What Does This Mean? A Stewardship Educational Venture by First Lutheran Church in Topeka. Hi, I'm Ralph Crummins, your host for today's video, and with me are Dick Schaefer and Mo Crummins, who will share their insights and perspectives on the topic of stewardship of relationships. As you listen to them, ask yourself this question, what does this mean for how I live out my faith? Thank you, Dick and Mo, for joining us today. One of the reasons you were chosen for this month's video on stewardship of relationships is that you're both Stevens ministers. Dick, can you give me a very brief understanding of what you do as a Stevens minister and how long have you been a Stevens minister? Well, I've been a Stevens minister for uh, five years, Ralph, and so I'm really a newcomer actually uh, among the 11 or so members that are active in uh, the Stevens minister program. But uh, in tough times and times of crisis, which happened to pretty much all of us in our lives at one time or another. It always helps to have someone to talk to. I think anybody would agree with that. And so that's where Stephen Minister comes into play. Uh, they're a caring, confidential, and Christian listener, you might say, that has been trained over some 50 hours of training to uh, walk along with the person who might be going through some troubling times. Great. Mo, would you like to add anything to, to the understanding of, of how, uh, what a Stevens minister is and how long you've been doing this, please? I've been doing it for about seven years, but Dick did a good job with explaining what we do. I think one thing that was said is God working to help people through people. And that's, you know, with our communication with others, we try to use uh, support and spiritual support. To help those other folks. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, stewardship to me means taking care of a gift that God has given us. And he's blessed us with relationships and our relationships require nurturing. And sadly, sometimes our dearest relationships can be negative. So relationships are a gift. And with this gift comes responsibilities. Um, how can we best care for our relationships? Dick, let's start with you. Please tell me, um, as a Stevens minister, tell me how you help others with their relationships. Well, I've found that in some cases that I have dealt with, it's uh, as much about the relationship someone has with themselves as it is with others. And as we know, that can be kind of tricky or difficult sometimes uh, as to how we see ourselves. And so that's, again, we're talking about it can uh, really help. It's one of those things that in some cases as a really wise person once told me when uh, a person has trouble, for example, forgiving themselves of uh, whatever the case might be, uh, I was told, uh, when God forgives us, how dare we not forgive ourselves? Thank you. Um, so please give me one way, that, uh, one way that you were a steward of the gift of relationships when it just comes to yourself. What's something that you do um, when it comes to yourself to be a stewardship of relationships. Is that for me? <clears throat> yes, please. That's for me. Okay. Well, one way I suppose I've been blessed uh, having been married to Susan for uh, nearly 55 years. And uh, when I first saw her, I knew she was out of my league, but I uh, got lucky. <laughs> so I'm still with her. She's still putting up with me, but uh, I don't think there's any secret to how some of those relationships work, especially the marriage relationship. You put the spouse first, and uh, that seems to work. Um, so I don't really have anything more profound <laughs> than that to tell you. <laughs> right. So briefly, what do you think, um, why do you think it's important to develop this gift uh, of relationships? And what's thing, what is one thing that you think others can do to improve their relationships? Well, in my view, the idea of living in relationship with someone or with friends or coworkers is kind of like living out God's plan to have uh, human beings be in communion with each other, with nature, with the earth, and so on. So uh, by placing the needs of others ahead of our own, again, to me, that seems like uh, we're kind of helping in the idea of living out God's plan. Uh, and so I don't, again, have anything more to add than that. It's, uh, it's very simple, I think. Thank you. Maureen, I've got the same questions for you. So I'm always a Stevens minister. 
uh, please tell me how you help others care for their relationships. Well, with the Stephen ministers, we're, we're committed to them and with our care receiver. And we set a time aside each week or monthly, however, and uh, just in, encourage them and provide emotional and spiritual support. One of the big things is being non-judgmental mm -hmm. to a person, be open-minded, ask them, you know, what they're feeling, and if there's anything I can do to help them. Does that answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So what is, what's one way that you're a, stewardship, uh, you're a steward of the gift of relationships when it comes to yourself? When it comes to myself, I find that I do better if I, you know, pray, read scripture, and go to church. And like... Uh, Dick had said is to be forgiving of myself at times, you know, I can be harsher on myself. So, you know, that's one of the, one of the things I do. Great. Thanks. So briefly, how would you, uh, what do you think, why do you think it's important to develop this gift of relationships? And then also what's one thing you think you can do to help others uh, or how others can help improve their relationships um, What's one piece of advice for them? Okay, I just think that uh, relationships are a blessing from God and to use our talents and time, we have to, you know, um, pray, rely on God for to help lead us the way that we should be going if we're having difficulties times you know or any time it's just to pray to god keep that open be honest loving and committed to the relationship thank you great and I, i'm going to add something you mentioned to me earlier when we were talking about this and that's to listen and i'm like oh yes yeah, because that's always a hard thing for me to do so i want to yeah. i want to throw that in even though you're the one who came up with that no comment yeah <laughs> I'm a good listener i'm i'm not so great of a speaker so, you know, I can talk to someone, but doing this is out of my comfort zone. Well, thank you for doing you almost had to do it by yourself, Dick. <laughs> I know they'll cut this, so that's how I can say it. Okay. Dick, is there anything you'd like to add to what Maureen had to say or either way? Well, again, in my own thinking, uh, I don't know that as far as Stephen ministers or any area of life that you might want to think of that we could say it any better than uh, St. Francis of Assisi. It is in giving that we receive. And right. so true. Thank you. Well, thank you to our guests today, Mo Crummins and Dick Schaefer. And thank you for watching this video. Our stewardship theme for June is Stewardship of Health, premiering on June 6th, 2021. May you continue to grow in your understanding of stewardship as you answer the question, what does this mean? Until next time, this is Ralph Crummins. Goodbye.